Hello and welcome to my third tutorial. I decided to continue showing you very advanced stuff. What you're going to learn today is that. A very nice teleportation effect. Okay, I have already prepared the uh, cup we want to disappear. You can choose any other object you want. The first thing I do is to split that area because I want the outliner to be displayed so that I have a good look over all our objects. And now I press the spacebar, select Add Mesh Cube. And you should make sure that this cube is bigger than our object. You can scale it by pressing S. Now I add another cube. It should have approximate the same size, but it should be less tall. I switch into wireframe so that I see everything. And I select scale manipulator mode and scale it into set direction. And now you should move it uh, right under your bigger cube, like this. So now you select the small cube first and then the big cube and press Ctrl P and select Make Parent. Now if you move the bigger cube, the smaller cube will move also. Okay, our first cube will be our disintegration object. I go into the editing panel and I call it disintegration. Our smaller cube will be our glow object, so I call it glow. Now I make a small animation. I move... oh, no. I move the big cube above our cup and I press I and select Insert Key Location. I go forward in time using the arrow keys about 2 seconds or whatever that's 50 frames. Move the cube so that the complete cup is within the cube and press I Insert Key Location again. Okay. Now we select our uh, teleportation object and we oh, are al already added it. Mm, we add the modifier boolean. And as the object we select our disintegration object, I call it as disintegration. And the boolean type should be Union. Okay, also our cup is already disappearing. Now we select our glow object and we also add the modifier boolean. And the object will be our cup, which is called cup1. You can see it in the outline. Boolean type should be difference. Okay. Our glow object has to have a special material, so we go into the shading panel and add a new material. It should be constant white. And it shouldn't reflect light, instead, it has a self emit value which is 1. Now it really is constant white. OK. And we change our background color in the world buttons to be constant black. If you don't do that, you would have to make a dummy object in the same layer of your glow object, which has the color black and which completely surrounds your glow object. Well, 
I'm not doing that right now. But I already said it, the glow object has to be in a different layer. So we press M when the glow object is selected and we select a different layer and press OK. Now it's in the second layer. And you should select your disintegration cube, go to the outliner and disable that so that this cube isn't rendered. OK, select both layers by pressing shift and we go into our scene panel, into our render layers and our first render, re render layer, I call it main, will only render our cup and we add a new render layer, I call it glow, which will render our glow object. OK, and our main render layer should also deliver the object index pass. Activate that and activate do composite in the animation settings. I forgot something, we go to the object panel and for our cup we select another pass index. It can be one, it could also be something different, it just has to be uh, something different compared to all the other objects. Okay, that's it for the first part of the tutorial. Everything what comes now will be about compositing. See you there!